Hello everyone, it's Mel from Melamore Nursery. I brought on with me today little Essie, and she is a Sally Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. I bought her off of Reborns.com from a wonderful woman named uh, Cynthia Cordova, and that is her um, that is her selling platform. I do not know. Uh, I just tried, and I don't know how to link reborn.com sites. Uh, it seems a little bit more difficult than the eBay sites to link. So, um, sorry about that. But that's her name is is um, Cynthia Cordova. In case you're looking, she has beautiful dolls. This particular sculpt was from her personal collection. I know it was a really really hard sell for her. She did not want to really part with this um, beauty. Um, she did paint her herself and, uh, she is exactly to my liking, uh, is a sculpt. I love, love, love this beautiful ginger hair that she has. I love how it's short cropped. This is one of the sculpts that I had been looking for for a long, long time. And I love in particular her little feet which is why I pulled off her socks so I'm just going to show you her little feet if you're not familiar with the Sally sculpt but I love how her toes are separated like that and her little open hand and closed hand now the last time um, this little one was featured was with Lucas which is my Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown and I was talking about two of my favorite Bonnie Brown sculpts um, and dressing them in white. And of course, the Levi sculpt is a sleeping baby and the Sally sculpt is very much an awake baby. And since I was talking about why I have so many sleeping babies in my nursery, if you will, uh, yesterday, I thought I would bring... Uh, little Essie on and Essie is uh, a play on the initials S and C for all of my new subscribers. I want to welcome you. Um, so I've spelled it at uh, E-S-S-E-E. -E. Um, just sort of playing on Sally Cynthia because that is her full name. And I'm just going to put her in a um, spring outfit as well. And I just love this look, though, this very basic, plain look, you know, where the limbs are shown and she's just in white. And when I look at this doll, um, there is very much a personality to Essie, very, very much. She has this cheeky kind of uh, expression on her face. I've seen quite a few versions of this doll now and I really love this, the shorter hair and I like the fact that she's got kind of a tomboyish look to her with these ears that poke out like this. So she is a beautiful beautiful sculpt and Cynthia Cordova did a beautiful job on her. So I am going to start putting her into um, a really cute little outfit that has the woodland um, bunnies on it and flowers. Again, this could have gone for theme Thursday. So this whole week might just be a theme Thursday kind of play because I've got quite a bit of items that are like with florals. And then it has these uh, pale pink pants, like that. And um, I just have some white socks to go with it. And I thought I would spruce it up and add a pop of this color and uh, a brighter headband just to, to play off the colors in the um, in her shirt, which... You know, you could barely see it there, but I'm sure this headband will really pull that color out, as you can see. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And because her onesie is gray, this is the onesie that she came home in her box um, opening. Uh, it's gray with hello on it. I thought I would go ahead 
and um, change that out for a plain white onesie. Um, and I do have the preemie size for her. Now she is 19 inches long. She's, she's, I, I want to say she is five pounds dead on and she's weighted beautifully, you know, and it's really odd because when I first opened her in her box opening, I absolutely did not feel any weight in her head. And so I wondered if it had shifted during moving because now I definitely feel it and I certainly didn't uh, reweight her. And I'm so glad I didn't have to do that because she she is such a beautiful uh, doll just the way she is. And she's such a skinny little thing too. Like, I mean, not overly skinny, but um, she's certainly not as full as, say, the Laura. Um, you know, Laura has, Laura's a true, the Laura sculpt is a true no newborn size, whereas the Sally sculpt is, is quite, you know, um, quite a skinnier sculpt in her limbs and her legs and she is full limbed completely full limbed and like I said she she had been on my want list for a while now the shirt that I had on her was angel deer newborn and I just love simple pieces like that um and I do a lot of, well, I haven't since I received so many clothes and then started going through the wardrobe. Um, but I was doing quite a bit of thrifting um, before and um, was finding quite a few pieces because at the local thrift store, you fill a bag and it was super cheap to do that. I'd launder them all and, you know, that was the way to go. I mean, once clothes are washed, they're clean. So, you know... Um, she, she just, yeah, she ended up with quite a, a number of clothing. And so, you know, I have lots and lots of onesies. Um, I have lots of, you know, pants. I have lots of, you know, I'm pretty much good to go, you know, probably far, far too much <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so this is her construction here, and she's got a beautiful, beautiful uh, construction about her. She's a beautiful, uh, flexible doll. She curls right up. She's a little peanut, this one. Really, really super cute. And she just has personality plus. She really does. It's almost like when I look at her, and I'll show you her eyes. When I look at this little one, I definitely see her thinking about things. And uh, I know that sounds a bit ridiculous because she's a doll, but the, the eyes that are in her look very contemplative. And so that's what I mean by that. She's got a light gloss on her lips. She's got this ginger... Um, rooted eyelashes which are really uh, lovely and this light um, eyebrows she's been beautifully beautifully done her modeling her skin tone very nice and I like I said I, I know I almost forgot her onesie I know that she um, she was quite a hard sell for for uh, Cynthia and yet um, I was super lucky to come across her. I found her and the uh, Ethan sculpt by Cassie Brace, who was another one of my uh, wanted sculpts within 10 days of each other, both on Reborns.com, and which is uh, very uh, surprising because before that, I, I hadn't really gone on Reborns.com and I was just trying to figure it out. In fact, I do find um, that it's kind of complicated when I, I do look for things in the search bar. Not that I'm looking for anything now. Uh, I do have one more doll that is expected soon. One more surprise coming. Um, it would be interesting to see if you guys can guess in the comments below what sculpt you think I've got coming. That would be a fun game to play. Um, and, uh, 
but I'm expecting that one uh, and that one that I'm expecting I never thought ever I mean um, I would say the Sally sculpt and this sculpt that's coming were Ty and then the Ethan sculpt was probably next on the list so um, but from the time I'd seen or heard of the other sculpt I'd wanted it and it was the same with this one. So they're tie in that way. So she's got little white socks here. And she's going to, I just, it's too bad I have to cover up her feet. In the spring, I do have these cute little shoes that come on. And they're just like string shoes with the flowers. I'm, I'm kind of really looking forward to you know, the, the the warmer weather to try on these kind of cuter outfits because her feet are just so unique with this curved toes and these spaces in between it. Like all her toes here are separate and um, her big toe is separate and her pinky is separate. Her pinky toe is separate. But it just absolutely amazes me that that an artist can get in between those tiny little digits and paint. Amazing. So I hope everybody is doing well. We're heading into midweek. And um, I have no idea what I'm going to title this video. But I thank you all for your views yesterday and for your likes and comments. Um, I was surprised actually to see how many um, to see how many people were interested in, in you know why I had you know more more sleeping dolls than uh, open eye dolls. Um, but I think too, I think to continue on with that, you know, train of thought. Um, something I didn't really kind of think about yesterday was that, you know, I think um, on top of the peacefulness that I get from Sleeping Eye Dolls, um, you sort of follow along the route that you're used to. So since I had more or less started with the Sleeping Eye Dolls, uh, I, I tended, I, I was going in that direction. Um, but now, you know, when you start a hobby, uh, over time, you, you're really just purchasing, um, for each sculpt, you're purchasing like one, one moment in time. For example, her face, um, and actually, it's it's uh, not so much with the open eye dolls because I this is something I hadn't considered before. With the sleeping uh, sculpts, their faces are of one moment in time. But I find with the open eye dolls, like Essie here, depending on which way she's looking at me, it's almost like a different moment in time. It's almost like that's where the personality comes from. Um. I mean, even as she's like, even as I'm putting on clothes here, I feel like she's struggling with me because she doesn't want to sit still enough long for me to, to get the clothes on her, you know? So she definitely, to me, seems to have more of a personality. Um, and that definitely has to do with her being an awake baby. Um, whereas, you know, say with um, Louisa, Louisa is a captured moment in time. She's a sleeping baby, and she's captured in that moment in time. Oh, look how cute that is. The little, let me just show you. Let's just see if you can see her like that. Oh, sweet. I'll just move this up a little bit. Look at how cute that is. Let me just lower you down while I finish changing the rest of her. So I will get these little booties on and her little headband and see if this color makes it pop. And all of these clothing 
are still from the box of goodies that I got from Tracy from way back when. And for all of you that are curious, um, that have been watching diligently, that is the marker. That is the marker of the word game. I haven't forgotten about the word game. Um, I know people have been asking me because they've stumbled across a video or two. I have not at all forgotten about the word game. Um, I have a specific video that's coming with that word. And I've just only been debating with myself whether or not to uh, show what what the gift is going to be or not. Um, now let's try this head bow. But the marker is the video with the box of clothing from Tracy for all of you new subscribers. Now I do think that really adds a pop of color really really do so for her lovey being that there's a little rabbit I pulled out a little deer a little pink deer for her to hang on to so that Essie looks definitely like she's in a woodland themed outfit and she is pretty in pink definitely pretty in pink these clothes that Tracy chose let me just get you perfectly in frame, are just absolutely cute as can be. Cute as can be. Oh, sorry about that. 19 inches long, five pounds, and full of personality, this little one. And with a soother, I just want to show you what she looks like. I don't put a soother on her mouth. This is a very strong magnet, but as you can see, she does have a magnetized pacifier. So uh, that's not hers, by the way, but. So that is Essie, my open die doll, and the update on my contest. And so wait for it, guys. I haven't forgotten. It'll be soon. And that's the only hint I'm going to give you all. But this is Wednesday, so I'm going to call this Wild West, Wild Wet Wednesday with Essie. How's that? And uh, as for the wild in nature, I guess. And um, please stay tuned. I haven't forgotten. And um, and you'll all see. You know, I, I am, like I said, I'm debating whether I should tell you all what it is or not. Um, you know, I, I know so many of you would want to know. Um, but I like the air of mystery as well. Um, but that being said, the marker is the box of goodies that I got from Tracy, the box opening after, um, there, like, if you look back to my videos, you'll see two boxes and it's the second one in the little, um, in the little box of, of the videos. I forget what they call that. The little pictures, you'll see two boxes. It's the second one. That's the marker to the contest. And I will let you know when I close the contest. So, okay. And, and it's all described in that one video. So that being said, I wish you the best of days today. Uh, for those of you not feeling well, my heart and prayers go out to all of you. Please feel better. And, um, and to the rest of you, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.